Hey guys, um, so I am down in my basement and I am getting ready to start a big project. I am gonna redecorate the like media room area of my basement and I'm gonna try to do Gryffindor common room and I'm so excited. I've been taking notes for days now. I have so many ideas and I wanted to come down and kind of get on film first how it looks right now. It's super messy, it looks insane down here, but I haven't cleaned up at all. Um, to kind of give, give you an idea of what I'm starting with and talk you through my plans. Usually when I do a project for you guys, I do it really quick. It's like a day long project. I don't do involved projects, but this is something that's gonna take weeks. So I'm gonna film little by little, but first I'm gonna show you what I'm starting with. So here it is. Uh, like I said, I haven't cleaned it up at all. We spent a lot of time down here with the puppy. There's her crate. She's actually in there right now. I'm going to get her out. Um, and so like it's her toys over there, whatever. There's a bunch of stuff. So we've got this sectional sofa, which is going to stay. Um, this carpet here will actually stay. This is going to be perfect for it. <laughs> this, this coffee table has to go. Like I've got it taped because the corners are so hard. They're metal. And I'm worried about my daughter playing around here. I have this trunk that I got at an estate sale years ago for $5. And I always felt like it would be a Harry Potter project one day. I'm just going to slide it over, I think, and make it a coffee table. I have got this great feature in this room. These built-in bookshelves are going to be absolutely awesome for this. So I'm going to, I'm going to, like right now I've got DVDs, right? I've got a ton of stuff in here that doesn't belong. I've got CDs. I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to fill it with books, but also like little knickknacks. It's going to be full of Hogwarts inspired like potions and things I'm, I've got a lot of ideas for this uh, and I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna move the crate out of here this wall here I'm thinking about doing a peel and stick wallpaper I'm not sure maybe brick and maybe a faux fireplace I don't know I don't want it to look crazy in here but I have so many ideas and then I've got this supporting beam I'm thinking a peel and stick wallpaper that looks wood and make it look like a wood beam. And then I'm hoping to maybe do some sort of like book page treatment on this wall here under the stairs. Uh, yeah, so lots of ideas. <laughs> All right, so here is my first project. I picked up this copy of The Sorcerer's Stone secondhand for a couple dollars. I am going to pull pages out. Don't hate me, I know, it's like sacrilege. I'm gonna pull out the pages and I'm gonna stain them with tea to make them look kind of old. And then I hope to hang this under the stairs. I think I said that in the intro when I was showing you guys downstairs. I think that'll be a really pretty way to have a little subtle nod to Harry Potter. You would have to get up close to see what it is. I'm gonna use plenty of pages that have these pictures though. They're so cute. That's my dog playing. If you hear that jingling. Here are some of the pages drying outside and you can see they're like different tones, which I like. And when they dry, they'll kind of look like maybe parchment paper, which would be the kind of books you would have at Hogwarts, right? I used to do this technique a lot when I was a kid for crafts, so this is totally bringing me nostalgia. This is not all of them. I did about 50 pages and I've got them at different areas of my home right now. And I wanted to show you these. I set a few aside and put some glasses on top. I'm going to try to make little tea rings. I wanted to look like somebody was reading a book and then set a teacup down. Hopefully that works out. And there is my little book page wall. This was like really simple. I just taped it up with a little bit of white washi tape uh, because I knew it would kind of show at the top. And so I wanted it to look a little rustic. I didn't want to use clear tape. And I like using this tape because it's not permanent. I don't know that I'm gonna like this style for the whole time we live in this house. So this is a really good solution. And now I'm gonna work on another project. I'm gonna hang some stuff over this. For my next Harry Potter project, I am going to turn this into a stained glass window. Um, this is something I already had at home. It was hanging up in my master bedroom, but I was getting ready to kind of get rid of it. It is plastic. It's not the best quality. I got it from Burlington Coat Factory for I think like $10. And I thought before I get rid of it, let's see if I can make it over. I bought this kit off Amazon of glass paint and it was under ten dollars it comes with everything you need little paint brushes and i got 10 or 12 different colors uh, so i'm going to paint like each square a different color and i'm going to do the four colors of the four houses i've never done this before so hopefully it works <laughs> Bye. 
Okay, so here it is after like four or five coats. That's four or five coats of the blue and I did some red. That's one coat of red and it's not showing up great. And the blue is streaky, I'm sorry, the lights are glaring. Yes, yeah, so it's not working great, but look at what I discovered. Look at this one. This is, you're not gonna believe what I used. I got out of Sharpie. And because this wasn't working, I was like, how else can I do this? The Sharpie is looking great. So I'm gonna do the rest of these scores with Sharpie and hopefully it'll make the streaky ones not look so bad. I have a bunch of different rainbow colors of Sharpies. Okay, there she is. What do you guys think? I think it came out pretty good, actually. As it's kind of settling, I guess, it's looking a little less streaky, but the Sharpie panels, the green and yellow are Sharpie. I think they look way better than the paint. The paint is blue and red. I tried to remove the paint to then just do all Sharpie. <laughs> Can you guys see Lucy in the reflection there? Uh, but I couldn't really get the paint off, so I just left it. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It was a really inexpensive project, and I think it's gonna add that Hogwarts touch that you need to any Harry Potter room. Here she is all framed up. I'm so in love with this print. The store I bought it from had a ton of different scenes and posters you could buy from other genres too, not just Harry Potter. I got it in this black and white, but they also had it in color. I just absolutely love it. I'm gonna get it, I think, up on the wall here. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. And it's in, those are my cats. It's in a frame from Walmart. It's just a regular poster frame and it included this mat, so I thought that was nice. Um, I will try to link the frame below, but all together, really, really happy about this and I just wanted to show you guys the poster came with this adorable little letter it's a permission slip to visit Hogsmeade how cute is that um, and it reads just like you were a student and you needed to get this signed by a parent I thought this was a really nice touch because the posters like there were so many designs they weren't all Hogsmeade so she obviously whoever owns this store made this specifically for this one product I'm sure she has other goodies she sends with other products so I'm going to link her store below uh and specifically the poster I bought specifically it was really affordable check it out if you guys like it I wanted to hop back on and say I reached out to the shop owner uh, and she has offered you guys a discount code in case anybody wants to check out her shop. This is not sponsored by her at all. I just loved this uh, print so much. I thought you guys might want to check it out. So I'm going to put the coupon code below in case you want to go check out some more of these products. All right, so I think I'm gonna end it there. Uh, I started out filming this thinking it was gonna be one video and I'm realizing there's so many things I wanna do. I'm gonna do a series. I'm gonna put up a video a week, kind of exploring all the little things I'm doing and take you guys along with me and then do a big reveal. I'm thinking my goal will be to have the reveal video be on July 31st. Harry's birthday. Uh, so if you like this kind of thing, if you're a Harry Potter fan, hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss out on the videos to come. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'm gonna link below some other Harry Potter videos I've done. Um, I've got like Harry Potter crafts. I've got a great butterbeer recipe. I'm gonna link that below. And let me know in the comments if you saw anything that you liked that you're gonna try in your home. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.